Hello and welcome to another Drones Deep video. In today's video, I'm going to explain a little bit about upscaling your video footage. Now the DJI Mavic Mini, we can only record up to 2.7K. And I know a lot of people were hoping for 4K, but uh, with 2.7K, we can try and upscale it to 4K for use on YouTube or any other video platforms. Now, ideally, I probably wouldn't ever upscale anything if I didn't have to. But just as an experiment, I'm going to upscale my 2.7 footage of the Herm Bay Pier to 4K and just look at the results. I've never done it before, so this is the first time I've actually done it. So let's uh, fire up Premiere Pro, which, which I use for editing, and uh, let's see how we get on. Okay, so I've gone ahead and imported my footage from the uh, Herm Bay shoot that I did uh, about a month or so ago now. Um, a little tip for you if you're editing in Premiere Pro and you're using a slow machine, um, I really recommend um, using proxies. Uh, that'll make your workflow a lot quicker and skimming through your footage a lot easier and a lot smoother. Um, just the way that you do that is just to highlight all your footage, right click on it and then go down to where it says proxy and create proxies. That will make low resolution versions of your footage um, which will then play it in your program monitor. It makes things a little bit easier, a little bit quicker, and not so much uh, lag when you're trying to edit. So the idea of this video is just to make a very, very quick video, maybe 30 seconds, not even that maybe, um, export it from 2.7K to 4K, and just have a look at the results. So let's find a decent bit of footage. Here we go, look. This is a uh, Herm Bay Pier, with the sun set, I believe. Yes, it was a late evening in September. So we're going to hurry ahead and make a few endpoint, make an endpoint there, endpoint there, and let's drag it onto the timeline. That will create the sequence somewhere, which is down there. So we'll put it back into there. So we're going to make, uh, call it 2.7 to 4K. Now if we look at the sequence settings, we'll see that it's already put it at 2.7K. Now what I need to do is change the sequence settings to 4K. So I need to go ahead and change the frame size. So 4K will be 3840, yes, I'm looking at a bit of paper because I can't remember them, uh, by uh, 2160. So now what we have in the program monitor is something with big black borders around the side because our footage no longer fits the frame. To expand the 2.7K to 4K, all I'm gonna do is highlight the, um, the footage and then drag it all the way out until it fills the frame. So that now becomes upscaled to 4K. It's only when you see the exported version that you're going to really notice if it's actually made a difference, whether it's better or worse. So I'm just going to use three seconds of that. And uh, find another quick foot bit of footage. And uh, we use another three seconds of that, I think. Ooh, oh no. Out there somewhere. Scale that down to six. The other way we can do it is literally just right click on your new clip and I think it's scale to frame size. There we go. And it automatically expands it to the, the same frame size. Uh, another bit of footage quickly. Oh yes, we'll do just a bit here. That's a nice still shot more or less. So I might be able to have a good look at the, the footage using this clip. Out there, spank it onto the timeline. Again, I'm just gonna do a right click and scale to frame size. And once again, one more clip. There we go, left some boats in there. And then again, scale to frame size. I'm gonna cut off that off. Uh, let's go from about there. Okay, so I've got 12 seconds of footage there, which will be more or less enough. I'm not gonna add any music to it because I'm going to be talking over it, I think, when I do the review. Right, okay, so now I'm just going to export this, this 12 second clip and then I will watch and review it and see what I think. Well, to be honest, I'm quite surprised of how good this actually looks. Um, it's something that maybe I should have done a while ago, um, but whether I'll actually justify labeling my footage 4K, even though I know it was shot at 2.7, I don't think I'll do that. I'll probably wait until I get the Mavic Mini 2 and uh, actually use proper 4K. But 
just an extra experiment. I'm quite happy actually with the way this 4K footage looks. I was expecting a lot worse. Maybe in my next proper drone video, I might be tempted to export it in 4K, upload it to YouTube, um, see whether YouTube recognizes it as 4K. Um, probably will do, because it is obviously 4K export. But whether the actual quality, people will be able to notice it not being in 4K, I don't know. Um, so there you go, just a quick video today, because again, the weather's been absolutely terrible this week, so no chance of getting the, the drone out, especially in the, uh, the Mavic Mini, get it blown away all, everywhere. So until the next time, I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Goodbye.